Hello, all my fairy friends. My name is Fairy Belle, and I'm a book fairy. And today, we're going to be reading a story called Yellow Dress Day. Ava loved dresses. She had a dress in every colour of the rainbow. Every morning, Ava jumped out of bed, ran to the window and looked outside. Her heart knew exactly what colour she would wear. On red dress days, the sun shines on cracked dry roads and Ava's puppy lies panting in the shade of a big tree. On pink dress days, flowers open their petals towards the sun and busy bees buzz and hum around Ava's garden. On purple dress days, rumble tumble clouds grumble in the sky and big fat drops of rain tap at Ava's window. On blue dress days, snowflakes swish and swirl and fall like sparkles from the sky to make Ava's nose twitch with the cold. On yellow dress days, the whistling wind ruffles Ava's hair and tugs at the leaves on the trees, making the branches shiver and shake. One whistling, whirly, windy day, Ava looked for her yellow dress. It wasn't hanging in the wardrobe. It wasn't folded in the drawer. It wasn't crumpled under her bed. Ava remembered that yesterday had also been a whistling, whirly, windy day. She had worn her yellow dress as she jumped and tumbled in a big pile of leaves. She finally found her yellow dress in the washing basket. Ava's heart sank. Mummy found an old box full of dressing up clothes. On a yellow dress day, could Ava be a firefighter, a daffodil, a ballerina? Ava put on the yellow daffodil costume and went outside to play. The whistling wind tugged at Ava's hair as she whirled around and around in the sunshine. It was the best yellow dress day ever. And that's the end of the story. Do you love dressing up? I love dressing up. And you know someone else who loves dressing up? Roger. You don't believe me? Let me show you. I love dressing up as a princess or a ballerina. And Roger likes to wear fancy hats. Why don't you dress up today as something fun? Thank you very much for listening to my story. And thank you very much for believing in me. And never forget that I believe in you too. Say bye, Roger.